Yeah, spring. it uh, is going to be not quite as sunny these next few days, but still not too bad, though, all things considering. But today, spend some time outside if you get a chance, if you like the sunshine. 58 degrees in downtown Greenville, 62 in Tacoa, 60 in Abbeville. So a couple have managed to reach 60. Probably not going to happen over the next few days, but that's not the last of the 60s on the seven-day forecast either, which we'll see in just a minute. Mountains, meanwhile, a bit colder for you. Low 50s, Brevard and Asheville both at 51, with 42 being reported in Waynesville. Satellite and radar showing a mostly clear sky, not much being picked up on the radar. It's because there's really not much in place. You don't have to look too far to find the next system. It's off in the Mid-South, bringing showers to the Arklatex and even some snow, pretty heavy snow with that in parts of Oklahoma and Kansas. So that's our next rainmaker, but the path it's going to take isn't going to deliver us much in the way of rain. It's going to take more of a southeasterly path, which is going to put us on the drier northern side of that low pressure system. And I'll show you what I'm talking about to put this in perspective on future casts. We'll take the regional view. As you can see, we'll definitely get the cloud cover. And as you can see, little streams of moisture on the northern side of it will produce a few showers tomorrow, more likely in the mountains along with some high elevation snow. But here's the bulk of the moisture way down here over parts of Georgia, Alabama and southeastern South Carolina. So that's where the majority of the rain is going to fall tomorrow and then it's going to develop off uh, uh, offshore from the uh, from the Atlantic coast. So that's going to leave us with not much rain here in the upstate. So I'll show you more of the local view here, what we're going to receive tomorrow. Again, it's going to start with clouds during the overnight early morning hours, but most of the day should be dry Wednesday. Later in the afternoon, a stray shower possible in the mountains, also in the upstate, but slightly better chance in western North Carolina. And then we could have a lingering snow shower or shower in the mountains by Thursday morning. But overall, this system isn't going to really do too much. 34 will be our low temperature in the upstate tonight. Mountains, it's 29 with a few clouds and a steady at light north wind. 20 and 30 percent rain chances, a mostly cloudy day, very chilly to start. So definitely a jacket type of day and probably keep it on type of day as well during the afternoon. 48 and 53 will be your high temperatures for our Wednesday. So rating the day, this one was a little tricky with a rain chance, but really not much of one close to average temperatures, just a cloudy day. We're going to rate it a barely passing 7 out of 10 grade. So looking at the seven day, notice we've got a little better rain chance on Friday, which also has the chance of producing some high elevation snow. That's also going to hold true on Saturday, but upstate weekends looking overall great. Temperatures go back into the 60s, which should stick around in early next week with another chance of rain returning on Tuesday.